hey people, I'm just, um, I know, okay, so you should watch the actual tutorials, but once you get, once you watch all those, it doesn't really go into a lot of detail on actually, like, customizing your, uh, character's, uh, expressions, so I kind of want to just go over that real quick, and then also customizing, like, the actual, um, uh, what is it, phonem, I can't even pronounce it, the word space, or the letters, phonem, I'm not even going to say the words, I don't know how. Anyway, I'm going to kind of just show you how to do that. So basically, um, you're going to grab your character, go to Lipstick Pro. So we're going to go into like the, here's the A and then E, U, O and everything. So then what's going to happen is it's actually going to show you what it's going to look like when she's use, when she's saying that letter. Or if, Yeah. Anyway, um, you can put your own, you can add any blend shape that you want in here. So if you want her to specifically have like a raised eyebrow when she says anything that has like an O in it, you can do that, which is kind of neat because then each character is custom um, to, you know, you can customize each character so they don't have the exact same facial expressions. Um, so basically you add your blend shapes. I'll just keep the ones in here that I have. So for the A, I have open mouth. So you can basically say, well, I want her to have a really open mouth or I don't want her to have a very open mouth. You can look in the mirror and say A, and this is for A and I. So A, it's like, how does your mouth look? I kind of looked in the mirror to figure it out a little bit. Um, I mean, it automatically, when you do the auto sync, so when you open up, it tells you in the actual tutorial, but you can auto sync it, and then it just picks everything for you, but then you can just customize them further. So I, I did that, so like I have um, this one, which it has her, lifts her lip go up a little bit. I don't know, I just threw that in there. Um, a little bit of a smile. And she's saying, you know, A or I, um, and I got another left smile there. So and then let's say we got E, U, O, and then every other letter is just kind of regular. Might change that a little bit though, because that's kind of boring. So we'll go add blend shape, pick one. What do we want? Let's say we want her to maybe have a little bit of a smile. So we'll go smile left, add blend shape. Smile. Ah, uh, where is it now? I lost it. Where does smile go? Oh, smile right. So I'm gonna have her have a little bit of a smile because she's happy. So we're not gonna make her look too sad when she's just saying any other letter. So we'll do that for that one, and then F and V, L. You can make. Her, you can even change the tongue, tongue up. So let's see how her tongue. So when you're saying L, your tongue is kind of like up there, which is kind of cool. M, B, and P, so her lips are kind of together. W and Q, and then her rusting. It's just I have a cute little expression on her face for rusting. Now we can go into the emotions. So now you can make your own, but there are a couple um, in there already. So for happy, I just made her look like that. I know it's kind of goofy looking, but I don't care. So that's her happy emotion. Her sad emotion that I created. So for happy, I have like you know, smile left, smile right. I have a squint in there. I got her brows going up, left and right, and then I have her upper lip left. And you can just customize those the way you want. I have a sad emotion, so I added you know, mouth down, frown, um, brows, and serious. It's supposed to be serious. Eyebrows up. Confused. This was, I, I called this one sexy. I have no idea why. I was just goofing around. I was trying to make a sexy one and I decided just to go with something else. Just a random one. Another random one, which looks kind of weird. But I wanted to have as many expressions as I could throughout her whole statement. I didn't want to have like duplicates because I tried doing that and it just kind of looked weird. So I wanted to have just a bunch of different ones throughout the whole thing. So basically that's it. And then when you go up into uh, your emotions when you go to your lip sync um, you can basically put them where you want so and on this line here when she says hello I'm nurse Scarlett I had her have the sexy emotion and then when she says the doctor wanted me to inform you that you're going to have she does her eyebrows up with us for a while I'm not sure what white is I don't think it's it does it for some reason it's just saying oh oh, oh it's too small I forgot what white is. Uh, anyway, so then um, Sirius is right here. Happy, I know how that was happy. And then we go, go back to the sexy again. So I guess I am using the same one. Did I forget to do random? Or is that random? Oh, I forgot. I know I switched one of them, but now for some reason it's being weird. 
Okay, so anyway, that's basically how you would do it. So then when she says these certain things, you can make her facial expression change. So if she's talking to you about something really sad, well, then obviously you're going to have a sad expression on her face. Or if she's super happy, well, then you'll have the happy expression on, on her face. So then when you go to play it, um, let's get rid of the wireframe there. So then... Hello, I'm Nurse Scarlet. The doctor wanted me to inform you that you're going to have to stay with us for a while till your illness is under control. I'll come back and check on you every couple of hours. Why don't you try and get some rest? And there she goes and does her other gesture animation thing that I need. So yeah, I mean, you can kind of tell, you know, in the face. Um, you can really see all the different animations. Let me do it again here. Hello, I'm Nurse Scarlet. The doctor wanted me to inform you that you're going to have to stay with us for a while till your illness is under control. I'll come back and check on you every couple of hours. Why don't you try and get some rest? Yeah, I mean, I think it looks way better than what I had before. I just had this other app, this other program, and it was really basic. It pretty much just moved them all up and down. It didn't really add... It had some eye stuff, but it really just was really really basic so I really wanted to buy this because it looked awesome and it's so much fun to play around with you can pretty much customize it to the T so you can customize it so that it really looks awesome and this was just my first try out I mean I bought it a couple hours ago and I I mean I you know once you play around with it a lot you can really do a lot of stuff with it and then you can watch my other video on the gestures which that's how I added her actual body animation didn't even have to do any scripting. You don't have to do any scripting. It's awesome. So whenever she, she says a specific thing or your character does, you know, says a specific thing, you can actually, you know, trigger their animation. So you don't have to actually script their animation when you're using this, which is awesome. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. See ya.